What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So Jim Cramer just came out about Lucid. So that might be a very good reason why you need to buy in among itself. But I wanna talk about what that is, what that means for investors in Lucid, and more specifically, some very abnormal transactions which indicate a very big buyer is starting to get back into Lucid. So I'm gonna go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciated. And with that, Let's get right to it. So Jim Cramer, the fun old Jim Cramer, he likes to just run his mouth about a lot of things and he did talk recently about Lucid and he's saying it's too dangerous to own right here. More specifically, what he does say is that we don't wanna fool around with that. The thing just goes down and down. I see a trend and I think this one is just too dangerous. And he's just looking at the chart plain and simple. No other fundamental basis behind that. So once again, I think that might be a very good reason why you need to buy because typically Typically, he does have a roughly about 10% or 15% success rate, or even if anything, that might be a little bit more too uh, generous. But let me know your thoughts on that. I always like to bring up Jim Cramer because I think a lot of people find him a little bit more of a comedian when it comes down to investing. And whenever he does historically say something is going to go down, I think that might be a very good indication that a rally might be very much overdue, especially if you do piggyback that with the actual technicals, which I'm going to touch on, and also this. So as you can tell, Tesla, Lucid, and Rivian from one year ago, looks like Lucid is down almost 81%, mind-blowingly cheap. And keep in mind, one year ago, we were just basically starting to launch the Dream Edition, give or take. So we are still very early on in our overall kind of a lifespan or infancy or whatever you want to call it. So I think right now Lucid is at a huge substantial discount. And there is a lot of big money that is really catching on to Lucid. Whether, like I said, because of Jim Cramer saying it's a sell, or that to avoid it, maybe this is why a lot of big money is getting in. I'm not necessarily sure, but I did do a video, give or take, I think it was uh, two weeks ago, where it does look like some abnormal transactions were occurring. Roughly about $250 million, it does look like with, uh, they're buying or selling. So when it came down to it, you have to look at who currently owns Lucid. And we already know the PIF has a very massive position in Lucid. There's also Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, and various other institutions. So Lucid is in a very interesting position that they have a lot of eyes on it. So when they do see, for instance, a possible reversal, whether it be because of the technicals or just the fundamental operations, there's a lot of money out there that is watching Lucid like a hawk and willing to buy and put a lot of money. And so when it comes to it, I always like to monitor the secondary market, dark pool and various other things like I share with you. And I like to bring up abnormalities. So for instance, when it comes down to dark pool that is meant for big institutions so it's very common to see fairly big transactions but on the secondary market that's what typical retail investors do trade on so you and i so when it comes to big transactions that is very very abnormal so as you can see these are all the transactions over one hundred thousand dollars so even generally speaking one hundred thousand on the open market is fairly high but let alone 6.44 million 1.79 million, 5.26 million. And keep in mind, all of these were after hours on a Friday, which in general are fairly quiet. Like who trades Friday after hours? Like it's normally a dead zone, but yet you do see a lot of big buying that's been happening, but this isn't the best part of it. So scrolling down 3.59 million, 7.14 million, 6.44 million. Once again, this is all still after hours. There is 7.14 million and 52.7 million dollars in one transaction. And based on, as you can tell, the bid and the ask, all of these are buys. So like I said, some big money behind the scenes or whatever it might be is very much getting into Lucid, taking advantage of these discounted prices. So I know a lot of you are very much discouraged of Lucid. I see a lot of the comments in my videos, on Twitter, various things, and even looking at the chart, it's gone down a lot. Even myself, I did buy in recently at $8.03, and generally speaking, I would have said that is a massive, great buying opportunity, but yet look at where we are, $7.33. So once again, I think it's hard to tell where exactly the bottom is. We are in a little bit more of a spiral, but based on the technicals, I do feel that we are very, 
very overdue for a value rally. And like I always say, I have RSI and Stochastic, two big indicators on there. And a lot of algorithms held by institutions and what institutions use have those two indicators to signal buying opportunities. So when RSI is typically below 30 and stochastic below 20, this is where a lot of the algorithm starts to pick up and notice Lucid as a great buying opportunity. So once again, I know a lot of you are very much discouraged, but like I always say, which I'm not a financial advisor, you need to buy when there is a ton of blood in the market and you can't get more blood than there is right now everyone seems to be for the most part very bearish. So like I said, I think that's a very good indication that big money is buying. And historically, based on my whole YouTube uh, videos and things like that, when I do see big money that is buying at this level and this frequency, we do typically have a rebound. Of course, the broader market does typically take it down based on overall where we've been, but this is usually a very good indication. And this is exactly right here. I did do a video and said, this is exactly the bottom. And I completely pinpointed that exact day and I believe it was yeah it was the 11th or the 12th one of those days this is when you did see roughly within the previous week of this massive amount of buying so similar to this and like I said you do not see this on the secondary market so once again do your own due diligence I just like to list out facts you guys if you are very much still bearish then disregard this maybe this is just an institution that's going to continue to short or whatever it might be there's a lot of different circumstances stances out there, but someone is willing to buy and increase $52.7 million on the open market after hours on a Friday. So once again, looking here, there's a lot of big candidates that could be the case. My own opinion would be either Vanguard or BlackRock um, because it is the tail end of the year. And so I think a lot of portfolios are going to be kind of rotating assets around and what better discount than Lucid right now. So I think this is just my own opinion. Of course, you guys do your own due diligence, like I always said, but given all the circumstances, like I mentioned, Lucid is at a very, very big discount. Even the technical show it and I think a lot of big money has really been noticing lucid over the last little bit so again let me know your thoughts on that hopefully everyone is having an amazing weekend thus far don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe always greatly appreciate that if you do like my channel want to support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with all that said though I appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on lucid